hey, 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 YouTubers. It's Mary once again. Thought I'd come and make a quick video. I didn't come in last night. Um, I just got real busy and after I did as much work as I wanted to do, I got, I was tired, so. But I, um, I've been real busy making, finishing up a couple of books for, you can call them clients or whatever. They are paying me to do this, but some books for them. So what I do, they give me a manuscript and it's, uh, th these these are people who are my age, and they're not real computer savvy. So all of the the whole manuscript is written on paper. So I have to type this in Word, and I'm not the fastest typist. I might I barely type thirty words a minute. So, but it works for me. So what I do, I take their their manuscript, uh, uh, put it in a Word document. Upload it to Kindle, and this this one person, I'm gonna have to make decision on everything because they, I don't know, they whatever I say, they'll say okay. They they just want to see a book, and I don't think it's about selling a lot of books. They just want to see their their work in a book and. There's, there's no other joy. I mean, when you see your books in print, it, it just makes you feel good about yourself. And I I wrote my first book, I think it was 2001, and I've been writing ever since. I was going to show y'all a few of the, the books I have, the covers. I might have already showed y'all this, but this, I think this is a beautiful cover. This was, uh, this name of this book is Confessions, Words from the Heart. This is a book about, um, three, uh, three friends of mine actually told me their life story. And their, with their drug ha uh, addictions, man, their story is way worse than mine. But I, I was able to get the okay to write their story and put it in a book. And I titled it Confessions, Words from the Heart. This is a real good book. Then this book, man, I don't know who I was channeling when I wrote this. Uh, this book, Nobody's Here But Us, Looking for God in All the Wrong Places. Check out the reviews on Amazon about this book. Man, good reviews, man. Uh, but I'm I'm mentally ill, okay? <laughs> mentally ill people write books, okay? But anyway, here's another book. I've written eight books. Oh, what is that sound? Is there somebody breaking in? This is another book, Taste of Trees. Illusion of Death. This is a science, maybe science fiction book. It's, it's kind of out there because when I read it, I say, wow, what was I thinking about? Sonny, go see who that is at the door. You're supposed to be barking. This is another book that I wrote. An Angel Without a Name, Hearing Your Voice. Balboa Press did this book for me, so... This is... This is... The first book I wrote, man. So I am a published author, and I can take your words and give you a book. And I love doing this. So that's what I was busy doing yesterday. And when I got through, I was pretty tired. And then this morning, I went to the grocery store. Ooh, it was raining cats and dogs this morning, but I persevered and drove in the rain and got my groceries. And when I got going in the store, I remembered back in the day, if I didn't want to get wet and I was tired, 
tired of the rain getting in and out of the car. I would say, I when I get back, I don't want it to be raining. And when I got back, it was not raining. And getting back in my car, I said, I don't want to be wet. So today, I got kind of wet going in the grocery store, and I made that command again, stop raining when I'm doing my groceries. And sure enough, the rain had stopped. So why I say that, I, I, I want to talk about developing your psychic abilities. And this morning at 8 o'clock, my oldest son called me and uh, to let me know he and his girlfriend were getting ready to go on a trip. I think they're going to St. Lucia and some other islands. He travels all the time. so. But when he was talking, I said to myself, let me see if I could do like I used to do with psychic abilities. So I said, his girlfriend's name is Jeannie. I said, tell Jeannie. I said, hi. And tell her she's looking real pretty in that pink dress. Because that's what I, I focus my mind. And he said, Mama, how you know she's wearing pink? I said, I just see her in a pink dress today. And he laughed. He said, I forgot you could do stuff like that. And I could hear her laughing in the background. And she did have on pink. So I said, this is right on time for me to... Uh, Talk about developing your psychic abilities. And I want to read a little bit from this book. Let me see if I can line it up right. This is an old book. I don't even remember when I bought it. It's by Litany Burns. Burns. I'm saying Burns. <laughs> it's not like I'm from East Texas in the country. Develop your psychic abilities and get them to work in your daily life. So I'm just going to read a little bit about it because, you know, we all have psychic abilities. We just don't slow down to pay attention. It says, the telephone rings. You answer it. The person you have been thinking about says, hello. You awaken from a dream. What you dream about happens to you that afternoon. Your dog is lost. Giving up your search, you make a wrong turn as you start for home and find your pet. You walk into the wrong store in the shopping mall and find the shoes you've been wanting to buy. You decide to take the long way home from work. Later, you hear there has been an accident along your usual ride, your, along your usual route. You just lost your job. On the bus ride home, you see an old friend who tells you of an, of an available position in his office. You're humming a song to yourself while driving your car. Switch on the radio. You hear the same melody playing. Coincidence, luck, mental powers, maybe. Psychic ability, yes. Haven't similar situations happened to you or someone you know? And they don't keep happening. If you could understand how to use these abilities, you might be able to help yourself in your daily life situations. You might be able to benefit more from relationships and you might be able to leave, live a happier, healthier, more productive life. Everyone has psychic ability. Like any other natural talent, it needs only to be recognized and developed to be used. You know, when I decide to do the describing to my son what kind of dress his girlfriend had on in my mind I said Ooh, don't say that because that's that's gonna be so silly but I, I dismissed that thought right quick and let the feeling flow and didn't make a big deal out of it 
and and it it happened. It it was I was right. She had on a pink dress. So if you don't fight the visions of the thoughts you are getting, and you you know if you make waves and doubt, that's the waves of doubt. That's what's going on. Things will just flow into your life. Um, read another paragraph. If your psychic abilities have not been used since early childhood, they can still be developed fully. If you have been using them on occasion all during your life, you can still use them more. Developing them, whether at the age 2 or 80, depends solely upon your willingness to do so because they are so interconnected with your very coat of being. Everything that is alive has psychic ability. Plants, animals, fish, insects, all possess their own psychic ability. Many of these beings depend daily on their psychic abilities for their survival. They use them to protect protect themselves, find food and shelter, and adopt to their um, environment. You know, that's true because you think about animals and they can sense a, a thunderstorm coming or an earthquake way before. I mean, they, before our size... Uh, seismographs they can they can tell it before way before it ends so they are born with this psychic ability and I want to believe that we have it too I just you know we do and some people say especially women but I guess men have it too but I guess men they tend to puff up with the ego, I mean, men have a larger e ego than women usually because they have this instinct that they have to be strong and they have to be a leader and king of the jungle and all that. But that's, that's the way a man sees himself. So he missed out on a lot of things. But some men, I, I know some men who are psychic and calm, but most men do have the the big chest syndrome. That's what I call it. But damn, this book, I, I I don't know if this book is still available out there because this the pages are starting to uh, turn brown. So this is an older book. I didn't even look it up. But Lithany Burns is a professional medium, clairvoyant, and healer engaged in readings and healing for more than 10 years. So I don't know. I guess I could look and see when this book was published. She is an accredited, accredited teacher of fact, psychic awareness in the New York State public school system. That's good if they had that. That's amazing they had this information. And you know, if if our our children were taught that when they're young, they oh, can you imagine how they would be developed? God, oh man, that is so much fun. I used to play games like that uh, when I was in uh, the metaphysical circle and dealing with the mediums and. Oh, I used to hang around with a lot of people like that at the uh, healing center. And it was so much fun when you are around these people. Now, I don't know, I can, you know, things don't change that much because clairvoyance, mediums and all that, they basically have the same, because it's not too much more you can change. You could pretend, I know it's a lot more, uh, charlatans in it but they it was charlatans in it back then so and your inner spirit can see these kind of people so you don't have to worry about that if somebody's a crook you'll know it but i haven't hung around these people 
And the funniest thing about that, when I used to go to, I used to get a reading every two years. I wouldn't go two years without getting a reading. And I haven't had a reading in I don't know when. But the last couple of times I went to get a reading, the people said that they couldn't read me. And one lady said, I want you to give me a reading. And I, I just looked at the lady, but she was sincere about that. And that was a, a phone call you could make. And everybody was telling me that, that the woman was so accurate, and which this woman was. She was in California, so we in Texas, and a friend of mine called her. And this woman predicted everything that's going on in her life, told her about a divorce, and told her she was pregnant. And this girl had already had uh, two children. She wasn't trying to have another child, and she didn't know she was even pregnant. And the next month, she found out she was pregnant, and she told me about the woman. So you have to, you had to call the lady and book an appointment. So I I did book an appointment. You talking to her answer machine, and she did call me back. But when she heard my voice, when we talked in person, she she said, "I'm sorry, I cannot give you a reading. It's not it's not anything against you." But I just can't do it. And I said, well, okay. If you can't, you know, if you can't read me and then don't, you, you're being honest and you don't want to take my money. So I just kind of, I just stopped getting readings. And, and it's, at, you know, this part of my life, I don't need to get, Sonny's just looking at me, what's wrong, baby? Um. I don't think I really need to get a reading because one time, oh, I had to be 91 when I went to get a reading from this known psychic in Dallas. Oh, everybody, she, man, I was, I felt special to even get into her. So she was supposed to do a reading, a business, a business transaction. I was thinking about partnering up with somebody and I, I wanted some information so my sister was with me my faithful sister and she started the reading and she said I don't know why I can't see that much about you she said you're carrying the energy of your child I said, I am. She said, yes. And I, I have to give him the reading because I can't read you. She said, do you mind doing that? I said, yeah, you can read him. And she, she, you know, she lit a candle and asked me what his name was. And I told her. She said, I see him getting on a ship. I see the word ship. Is he in the Navy? I said, no, he's not in the Navy. She said, well, that's what I see. Him, a ship, is coming in his life. And so she said some more things that are pretty accurate about him. And I was like, yeah, okay. I just, I let it go. And she she really charged me half because her, she said her energy was blocked and she said but what she's saying about my son and a ship so we left and my sister said Ooh, I don't know about her Are they talking about how good she is I don't know why she couldn't read you I said yeah she's telling me about my son uh, about Keith and he's not going uh, to the Navy or going to be working on a ship so we just let that go. And my son had just graduated from SMU. And he was there on a football scholarship. And he had some scouts that were looking at him. But he was, I don't know. He, he just, that, that wasn't his path, uh, the NFL. But I encourage him, regardless of what happened, you have a degree and you didn't have to pay for it. So SMU 
found him a job. Now, this is crazy. They found him a job working at the salesmanship club. I didn't think nothing about it. And he he told me, he said, I'm going to be working at the salesmanship club and this and that. I still didn't realize what the psychic was telling me, the ship. And then he told me, and he showed me his check. I said, oh, you got a big check. And I saw the salesman ship, and I saw the word ship. I said, oh, that's what she's talking about. He was going to be working for the salesmanship club. So, you know, when you think something is one way, it's something totally different. So the psychic did predict something. But, you know, when people give you a... Uh, a prediction or a dream interpretation don't just throw it away because it, it will eventually come to pass I did a dream interpretation for a woman 10 years ago and she called me year before last and told me she said Mary you told me about the dream 10 years ago I can't even remember I said what dream and she made me remember. She told me to dream. I said, oh, I remember what I told you. She said, Mary, it came to pass. I said, oh, it sure did. She said, everything you said. And I just, you know, I don't know. You don't, when you don't make it hard and just let it flow, we, we all can interpret our dreams. And it confirms it more when somebody else tells us to dream but you could i have plenty of books on dreams and i have always been able to interpret dreams so but it's it's not rocket science you know you got your symbols and things and when when i dream about somebody the dream comes to me first i have to analyze my own self but uh i want us to remember the psychic abilities and you know kind of practice the next time you hear the phone ring or say to yourself it's a woman that's calling or it's a man that's calling and see if you could uh predict who it is and just you know kind of get your get your mind together and see if you can develop your psychic abilities but anyway, I didn't intend to be 22 minutes. But anyway, I'm going to end on that note. We all have psychic abilities. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.